Hey guys and welcome to this video. And today I want to talk about my first results of taking Finance Trade for the first 12 months. And for you guys who don't know me, my name is Alex and I was suffering here last since I was 18 years old, but I was able to recover from it and get full set of here like I have now and I'm now 36 years old. So in today's video I want to talk about my results of taking Finance Trade for the first year. And what it will basically show you guys is that it will show you what to expect of taking Finance Trade and it also will show you what kind of time frame you need to have uh, to actually expect some kind of results from it. Right, so because we need to be realistic, what we can expect from it, but also we need to be sure that we actually have kind of expectations regarding timeline. Right, so this is important. So basically, those pictures will show you what happened for me of taking it for about a year and what kind of results I was able to get. And this is my baseline. Right, this is a picture of me in October 2008, one week before I started with probation. And uh, you can see that I had diffused thinning. I have the diffused thinner all over my skull. Uh, and uh, this is my top part. Crone was thinning out rapidly. I still had here there, right? So I was diffused thinner, so I still had here there. But it was not possible to hide my baldness, and I was uh, losing my hair rapidly. So, and this is a uh, one month into uh, of taking probation or finasteride uh, in November, same year, 2008. Uh, this is a uh, uh, beginning of December, same year. Uh, this is a uh, January 2009. You can see that there was some uh, more uh, darkness to my hair, right? This is the first thing I noticed was that my hair become a bit darker and my shedding kind of decreased, right? This is basically typical signs you kind of can expect from uh, blocking DHT, right? And uh, I, in my case, I did take finasteride, right? But uh, for you other guys who take natural DHT blockers, is basically something you can expect as well, is that there should be decrease in shed when you take DHT blocker and uh, possibly also a color change of your hair. All right, so this is my hair in February 2009. And this is again my hair in the uh, end of March 2009. You can see that there was starting to be some improvement, right? Of course, not, not a lot, but there was some improvement, right? And I started to feel that my hair was more easy to style at that stage. And as time went by, this is uh, end of April 2009. Uh, this was in uh, May 2009, and at that point I knew that my hair are growing out again, right? They were starting to thickening up, and it would become easier to style, they were looking better, and they didn't look that diffuse anymore, right? Those, those things I already noticed, but as you can see, my hairline was still not where it should be, right? So this is around uh, seven months into uh, of taking uh, finasteride, or preparation in my case. And this is my hair in, uh, I think, in July, possibly, in 2009. And again, this is uh, August 2009. Uh, this is uh, uh, September 2009. You can see that my hair started to improve quite nicely. Uh, hairline started to become a bit thicker. My temples uh, did improve somehow around my existing hair. Of course, it was nowhere near where my hair temples are now. But at that time, I was quite happy with the results I was getting of taking Finastrid. Okay, and this is uh, October uh, 2009, so a one year's mark of taking Finastrid. Right? And here is basically December 2009, uh, one, one year and uh, two months into my journey of taking Finastrid. And you can see that my hairline also was quite improved compared to where it was. And I was quite happy with the results. And basically at that point, I also decided to lose my weight and start to improve uh, basically my overall well-being. So, all right, guys, I hope it did show you what to expect from Finasteride so you don't waste your time and energy or if it doesn't work for you, right? Because if it doesn't work, this basically means that there is something else that is causing your hair loss, right? That's kind of my point here. But if it do work, this is kind of expectations you can expect. And when I started to take Finasteride, I was 24 years old. Right, so I had been losing my hair since uh, 18, possibly earlier, uh, and uh, basically I was able still to have a nice recovery from my hair loss. Thanks for watching this video, and see you next time. Cheers. Hey, it's Alex, and if you did find my content valuable, you need to check out the training videos that I have made. And basically, it will show you my personal journey of stopping my hair loss and getting full set of hair without doing any investing methods. And it also will show you how I was able to help other guys do the same. And you can find the link below this video in the description text. And basically, it will help you to avoid wasting your time and energy on hair loss treatments that just don't work. And over the years, I have seen so many guys who try different methods and different treatments and they don't get results and they kind of give up solving their hair loss issue. And I don't want you to be one of those guys. Also, if you do enjoy my content, subscribe to my channel because I upload three new videos every single week. And I also hold live stream every other week where you can ask your hair related questions and get answers them live. Plus, I give away bonuses for subscribers who attend live streams live. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.